So check this out, Western Digital just disclosed a network breach. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and I have another data breach that I wanted to talk about. And this follows a trend where I talk about a lot of cybersecurity news in order to keep you guys informed of what's actually going on in the tech world. In today's article, as I stated, uh, Western Digital was recently hacked. Uh, they suffered a network breach and the MyCloud service is now down. And so let's hop over to the article so I can show you guys exactly what happened. And as always, I'll always have the link down in the description of the video in the video. But the title says Western Digital Discloses Network Breach, My, My Cloud Service is Down. And this was reported on April 3rd here on Bleeping Computer uh, by my man Bill Tullis. So shout out to you for putting out this information. I just want to cover it for uh, the people that follow my little channel when it comes to cyber news. But as you can see what it says, Western Digital announced today that its network has been breached in an unauthorized Party gained access to multiple company systems. Yeah, and this, this, this actually sucks, you know what I'm saying? Because I used to have one of their NASes a while back. And in order to connect to it, you need that My Cloud uh, app in order to connect to it remotely. Now, locally, you can still get to it, but I'm assuming this only affects if you're connected to it remotely from your the location of the NAS. Now it says the California based company drive maker and provider of data storage services says in a press release that the network security incident was identified last Sunday on March 26. So this it's actually been over a week uh, since this has happened. Uh, and so people are still having issues with it and they're down currently based on what I've seen. Now it says an investigation is in early stages and the company is coordinating efforts with law enforcement authorities. Upon discovery of the incident, the company implemented in incident response efforts and initiated an investigation with the assistance of leading outside security and forensics expert experts. Now, Western Digital says in the disclosure, it says, based on evidence found so far, the company believes that the intruder had access to some of the company data. So that's important, uh, you know, to, to see the company data has been, you know, somewhat compromised. Because at the end of the day, if they had access to it, it could be compromised. Because um, most of the time, once they get into the network, they store copying files out immediately. Now it says, based on the investigation to date, the company believes the unauthorized party obtained certain data from its systems and is working to understand the nature and scope of that data. So they're still trying to figure that out. Now it says my cloud service is down. As you can see from this image down here, this shows you my cloud cloud and then the service is down the cloud, the proxy, the web authentication, emails, uh, push notifications, all that is out. And that's, you know, was, uh, a screenshot from the 2nd of April. But well, let's go back up here. It says, in the wake of the attack, the storage maker has implemented additional security measures to safeguard its systems and operations. These steps may impact some of the Western digital services, as we've seen below. The company said the incident has caused and may continue to cause disruptions to part of the company company's business uh, operations. Now, since Sunday, multiple users of the Western Digital Network Touch, Touch Storage Service, MyCloud, have been reporting they couldn't access their cloud-hosted media repositories. Now, based on my knowledge of the way this works, you know, a lot of times the local NASs are still protected unless you have access to it. Um, via outside of your home network and then maybe they're just talking about and let's let's go in here and make sure uh i'm saying the wrong thing i don't want you guys to uh take the wrong thing from what i'm saying um because they may they do have some some cloud stuff 
or some locations you could store you could buy service in the cloud uh for like backups and all that stuff and ooh, somebody's saying i want my data back <laughs> right here on the tweet so 12 hours later still outage official status page has not much information except confirming the outage so that gives you some information about it let's click on it right fast but this is it's still saying the outage uh so the third so there we go we got uh today so you guys can actually see and just check that link i'll put that link in the description as well uh i'm assuming that connects to everything that connects to all your information from outside your network uh as well as things you may store it in that stored in their western digital my cloud account because i'm sure they sell storage as well you know what i'm saying and then i i remember when i had my 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 cloud account they were constantly trying to sell me uh, a way to back up my data that's stored on a NAS in their cloud platform, you know, compressed and all that stuff. Uh, so if you have stuff up there, you know what I'm saying? You definitely want to pay attention to this. Now it says at the time of writing, uh, trying to log into the service, including the home version, shows a 503 service temporarily unavailable error. More than 24 hours have passed since the first reported outage with cloud proxy web authentication emails and push notifications being unavailable uh, it says the the my cloud uh, service status page notes that the issue is affecting the following products uh yeah and it's the same ones i showed you guys there uh boom it's still down so you could check this again and keep checking if you have one of these my cloud accounts uh, now it says an update about the my cloud outage is expected from western digital later today but i haven't seen anything i haven't seen any other emails come out about it but i guess we'll still we'll still have to wait but it says bleeping computer has contacted the company for additional comment about the network breach and will update this article when a statement is provided so they haven't pushed out anything other than this statement right here based on our investigations to the data uh the company believes the unauthorized party obtains certain data from its systems and is working to understand the nature and scope of the data so that's pretty much all they provided thus far but we'll keep waiting so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff is just to keep you guys informed of what's going on in the cybersecurity world and breaches fall under that category. So I want to make sure I cover those so you guys can see what's going on and keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're interested in getting into the cybersecurity field, this is something that you want to make a habit of uh, paying attention to different things that are going on in the world, especially when it comes to companies being breached and everything. At the end of the day, it's not of your company hasn't been hacked it's a, a matter of when it will be hacked so please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techy